Hello, thanks for joining me, astrologer Patrick Arundel, for your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 5th of August. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'd be honoured if you subscribe to my channel if you've yet to do so. This week sees a sensational alliance between the Sun and Venus, but also Jupiter, the planet of expansion. When we put all this together, there is a real sense of go-getting, a sense of new possibilities, of much greater fire and energy. This is because both the Sun and Venus are located in Leo, the Sun's home sign, and Jupiter is located in its home sign of Sagittarius. Also, Jupiter is going to end its four-month retrograde uh, movement, and as this week draws to a close, goes direct on Sunday. I feel that this is going to give us all a sense of new beginnings. It's a time to demonstrate the things that are important to us. There can be a real uh, spirit of adventure, of affection, of uh, a desire to be much more engaged by all sorts of issues. There really is a, a change of emphasis from some of the intense stuff that's been going on over the last two months. It is true to say that Mars in Leo, a very proud location for this planet, is clashing with Pluto this week. So if we are wanting to be more creative, self-expressive or individualistic, we just need to think about how that may fit in with someone that we need to work with who's in a position of influence. But overwhelmingly, certainly at a personal level, this can be a, a time of new and fresh beginnings. There is a quarter moon this week, and that can create some passion. So if there is someone who's been a bit clingy or possessive, there may be a need to just create a little bit of, of uh, free air between you. But generally speaking, this can be a time to invest in our talents, invest in life's pleasures, in sociability, and a real sense of, of recovery and vibrancy and an upbeat uh, positivity. Your specific forecast, Scorpio, suggests you should really reach for the stars when it comes to your goals and the things that are really important to you in terms of uh, your more material aims in life. So, if it's about applying for jobs, uh, trying to improve uh, your financial situation, or just raise your profile, if you're a creative person, this can be a fine time to showcase your talents. Part of the reason for this is last week's new moon, which is continuing to influence this week, but it's tinged with the beautiful energy of Venus. Venus is very much about charm, but it's also about attracting things. It's known as the lesser benefit. Jupiter is the greater benefit, and that's been twisting backwards in your sector of everyday finances for near to four months. But by the end of this week on Sunday, that comes to a close. The combination between the Sun and Venus and Jupiter this week can be profoundly fortunate for you if you seize the moment. When I first started to become an astrologer, I actually thought that our personal horoscope was more about us uh, taking on the challenges of some of the more testing aspects within it. But now I actually do feel that luck is important too. And that's not to say that this week is going to serve you a reward on a plate. You probably are going to have to show application and perspiration. But I do feel there is an opportunity for you to advance your cause. So is there any catches? Well, there are a couple because your two ruling planets of Mars and Pluto are actually in conflict. Also, there is a quarter moon in your sign. So the first of these two, the quincunx between Mars and Pluto, suggests not to try too hard if you're trying to seize a big prize. It's going to be important to understand the politics and the delicacies of any environment that you're trying to operate within. So if you're too forceful or too demanding, it could be counterproductive and you could alienate someone with your competitiveness. But the quarter moon in your sign just suggests that whatever it is that you're trying to pitch your hopes towards, it is good for you at an emotional level too. 
If you're interested in astrology based on your time, date and place of birth, more personal astrology, why not join me at my personal horoscope store by clicking on the link beneath this video. You can achieve a 30% discount on a combination of your forecast and character analysis, or you can choose to book an appointment with me personally. But for now, good luck, goodbye.